A lot of men are eating watermelon thinking it will help with erections. But here's the truth. It only works if you eat it in the right amount and at the right time. And most men get both completely wrong. So in this video, I am going to explain how watermelon actually affects your performance, what the science says about blood flow, nitric oxide, and L-citrulline. And finally, how to use it properly if you want real results. Stay with me, because I will tell you exactly how much to eat, and when, at the end of the video. And I promise, it is not what you expect. I am Dr. Emma Blake. I am a urologist and men's health specialist. Let us get into the science. Watermelon contains a natural compound called L-citrulline. Once inside your body, L-citrulline is converted into another amino acid called arginine. Then, your body uses arginine to create something vital, nitric oxide. Now, why does that matter? Nitric oxide relaxes your blood vessels, allowing them to open up and carry more blood. That process is called vasodilation, and it plays a direct role in achieving and maintaining an erection. In fact, nitric oxide is the same biological pathway targeted by prescription drugs like sildenafil, more commonly known as Viagra. But here is the interesting part. Your body can activate that same pathway naturally with the right nutrients like L-citrulline. Watermelon happens to be one of the richest food sources of L-citrulline on the planet. Sounds great, right? But before you start loading up on watermelon at every meal, let's look at the actual research. In a 2011 study published in the journal Urology, researchers gave men with mild erectile dysfunction a daily dose of L-citrulline. After just one month, over half of those men reported improved erection hardness and satisfaction. No side effects, no crashes, no medications, just a natural nutrient supporting blood flow. But, and this is important, the men in that study were not eating watermelon. They were taking concentrated L-citrulline supplements. And that is where most people go wrong. To match the dose used in that study, around 1,000 milligrams per day, you would need to eat a very large amount of watermelon. We are talking about three or more cups, and consistently, every single day. Even then, results are not instant. That is why, if you really want to use this pathway to your advantage, there are two better strategies. One, take a high quality L-citrulline or citrulline malate supplement. And two, if you are going to use watermelon, you have to use it strategically. So now, let me give you the answer you have been waiting for. How much watermelon to eat, and when. If you are relying on the fruit itself, the minimum effective amount appears to be around three to four cups of fresh watermelon flesh, roughly five to 600 grams. But here is the key. It must be eaten on an empty stomach, ideally in the morning or between meals, when your body can fully absorb the L-citrulline without competition from other proteins or fats. Eating it after a big meal, like most people do, significantly reduces its effect, and it needs to be consistent. Doing it once a week will not change your blood flow. It takes regular intake over several weeks for your body to increase nitric oxide naturally. Now, for men who want stronger, more noticeable results, L-citrulline supplements may be a better option. Look for one with at least 1,000 milligrams of pure L-citrulline, taken twice a day, preferably in the morning and evening on an empty stomach. And yes, it is safe for most men. But if you are on blood pressure medications, nitrates, or have heart conditions, speak to your doctor first. So, is watermelon the new Viagra? Not exactly. But it does offer a natural, side-effect-free way to support nitric oxide, blood flow, and performance, especially for men over 40. It is not a quick fix. It is a nutritional tool. And when used correctly, it can support your vascular health and confidence in a very real way. I am Dr. Emma Blake, and I give real, science-backed answers to men's health problems. If you found this helpful, follow for more natural strategies to improve performance, 
energy, and vitality without the hype. And in the next video, I will show you three common foods that silently destroy nitric oxide production as you age and what to eat instead. I will see you there.